Welcome movie lovers, I bring you great content today. Right now I'm here at the premiere of Living in Bondage, the sequel, Breaking Free. Definitely a beautiful night, seen a lot of beautiful people right here. So join me as I talk to a couple of the celebrities and the actors and find out their expectations for tonight. I really love what you're wearing Molly. You I would much. say you stole the show, how about the lantern? Um, I just wanted to be a demon. <laughs> This, um, this was the hardest of the piece yeah. to find because it took me like three days to find a lantern. Nobody uses it anymore, but I'm glad that my stylist got it together and um, yeah. It's a dream come true for me. I am so blessed and grateful that I got the opportunity to be a part of something so great. I'm leaving a legacy for my kids, for people to come. They're going to remember me, remember this film. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped up. <laughs> I like it when I see actors evolve and grow from being actors to being the people calling the shots. So I'm really excited. The acting, cast, crew, there has been tremendous improvement. First things first, Ramsey Noah's directorial debut. I can't wait to applaud and give him all the accolades he deserves. I can't wait to see Munachi Abi. Kaneo, Kaneo. Ah, and then of course, Kenneth Okonkwo. It's well done and it's very entertaining, you know. Fantastic story, a lesson to be content with whatever God has given you. Don't go looking for trouble where there's, where the devil lives. Don't go wake devil up because he will follow you. Yeah? Believe in God. Focus on God. And you will conquer. In the first one, a lot depended on the actor and the actress. In this one, a lot depended on everybody. Uh, because in the first one, the script came more like a story. So as an actor, you have to develop the dialogue. But in this one, everything is set. You just walk into and do your role. So in the first one, the actors and actresses, we are stressed more. And then in this one, it was you know, cool for everybody. You know, we are growing. It is a good performance. And this will be seen in both the marketing and publicity and how the public we welcome it. So to us, to God be the glory that we are still alive, kicking well, and doing the things we are going to do. All to change the face of Hollywood. All to change the face of budgeting. All to change the face of creating goodwill for Nigeria. I don't think that anybody who, in Hollywood who watches this Breaking Free, we say this, Nigerians are not doing well. And these are the ratings we want them to give us. A lot of challenges. It wasn't easy like, um, taking up those, that task of being an actor, a director, uh, and, and then and then working on a movie of that magnitude, like since 1992 till date, you want to make sure that, you know, a bring back of such a story it resonates well with the society. And to start with, those people who actually saw Living in Bondage back then, they don't go to the cinema anymore. So you have to um, consider the demography of those who go to the cinema now. And that was very, very key in our, in our uh, post-production, I mean, our pre-production. And we tried, we tried to do our best out of it, but I'm hopeful that when people see it, uh, my fingers crossed to see that um, they'll, be, um, they'll be happy about it. Wow, what a beautiful night it has been. Very, very big congrats to Ramsey Noah and all the cast in this movie. I have totally loved it, and I must say it's a great job. So on the 8th of November, make sure you go and watch Living in Bondage, Breaking Free. For me, it is goodbye. My name is Reiki Abdul Karim, reporting for New Central TV.